Welcome YouTube. Today I'm riding my Kawasaki ZH2 ZH2, the SE model. SE meaning special edition. It's got the electronic suspension thing. All right, off we go then, shall we? <laughs> All right, so today is the 23rd of August, 2021. And as ever, I am riding to uh, work. I'll take the long way today. It's a beautiful day. Before I you know, start getting into a topic that I have no idea I'm going to get into. I'd like to uh, mention that a former moto vlogger, uh, one that has been my friend for over 10 years, uh, has passed. His name on YouTube was uh, Have Dog Will Scooter. And, uh, his name on the Facebooks is Austin Ross. He and I bonded over uh, our accidents that we had. Uh, me in 2010 and, and him in 2011. His was way worse than mine. And he's been, or he, he had been dealing with pain ever since, really bad pain, debilitating. Uh, he was in a relationship that ended recently, and apparently he didn't have a job. He was trying to find a job. There was a lot going wrong, and then you you know put that against the backdrop of all the stuff going on in the world now. And so I think it just kind of overwhelmed him, and he thought, you know what? I'm just going to check out like my brother did. His brother, not mine. Apparently his brother had done the same thing. So... It's a shame. It's a shame. He will be missed. So have dog wheel scooter. This is for you. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. It's kind of hot out today. I don't know what the temperature is. Let me see. Does it say on here? No. When you have it on the rider mode on the Kawasaki, uh, it doesn't display the same kinds of things that you'd want to see, like the temperature and that kind of thing. I could toggle, but I'm too lazy. So I'll just tell you it's warm. It's probably in the mid 80s right now. It's going to be, I think, 90 today, so. A shout out to my peeps up north who uh, have endured the. the Hurricane, tropical storm, whatever, Henry. Henri. <laughs> and uh, also to my peeps out in Tennessee who endured that horrible rainstorm in Western North Carolina, too. A lot of flooding, a lot of devastation, so I hope you all are safe. That's all that really matters. Shout out to my sister, Deb. Hey, Deb, down in Arizona. I hope you're doing all right. All right, so uh, what's going on? Well, I guess uh, I'm, I'm riding, you know, a little bit. Haven't been riding as much because of the heat. 
and the humidity and the thunderstorms as you already know from my previous video but today it doesn't look like it's going to be bad so I'm going on the bike as you can see having a good time And I'm not going crazy today, I'm just enjoying myself and giving you something interesting to watch, hopefully. I'm not trying to be, you know, a street Rossi as they call it. Just having a little bit of fun, that's all. I think I'm at a half a tank, so that's not too bad. Lots of corn. I suppose a deer could come jumping out of that corn, take my ass out, but that could happen at lower speeds as well. Life is not without its risks. I don't like those tail lights. It looks like an arrow pointing the wrong way. Banana tree! So, uh, yeah. I haven't really done a whole lot of motorcycle stuff this year. I did do that Ohio Windy 9 so far with uh, Moose 3971. And uh, I'm still expecting to go on the 13th of September on a cross-country ride. It just depends on how crazy the COVIDs get and how that might affect uh, my job. So, so stay tuned for that. Again, my apologies for not really watching anybody's videos. I just haven't been in the right frame of mind, as you know. And thank you for all of your kind words of support. I really appreciate them. Oh, this feels so good. Oh my goodness. I've gotta say, I'm a happy guy with this. Oh my God. I can't remember whether or not GB Winging It has his new bike yet, his other bike. I have to check that. I remember when he told us he was selling his Honda CB1000R, I think it was. CB1000R, I think that's what it was. It wasn't the race bike, it was the naked bike. It was a nice naked bike, and it was great. But... Uh, he talked about how, you know, the, the comfort factor really uh, made a difference in his keeping or not keeping that. And I get it. I totally get it. I mean, I don't think I would like to ride this motorcycle to, uh, you know, a faraway location.
That's why I have the wing. So I could do exactly that. And the wing is sporty enough. You just get drunk on the power. You really do. Hoo wee. <laughs> that was fun. I can already see the thumbs downs on this. Oh my god. How dare you? Oh yeah, yeah. You do you, I'll do me. I'm not zigzagging through traffic. You notice I slowed down well before I got to this vehicle ahead of me. It's August, and so the heat is pretty intense here. And I, well, for a lot of people this summer, this, the heat has been very intense. You've been experiencing my weather. So I think a lot of you guys can understand why I'm not riding so much. But, uh... Yeah. All right, here's a question for you folks. Uh, do you move your feet around very much when you're riding your motorcycle? Do you have an active foot placement, or do you just keep your foot in one place? Now, if you have uh, floorboards, like on a, like a bigger Harley, then the answer is going to be pretty much no. You're just going to keep your foot in the same position, except for when you're using the highway pegs. But if you're on a bike that has rider pegs and not floorboards, then you might have a more dynamic approach to it. I know I do. You really have to think, especially when you're on a manual, you've got to shift and your toe can't be too low if you're in a corner. So that's a concern. Plus, you know, I try to keep my, my feet up and back for cornering. I don't want to have any scrapage issues on my feet. And uh, a little little note about Yami Noob. Uh, he, he talked about um, motorcycling recently and, and getting faster and better. And he, he said something very interesting. He talked about how you really shouldn't be trying to carve corners faster on the street and, and doing all these, these techniques on the street because it's not safe to do so and you should really get a, get a track day going or try to get on track as much as possible. And I, I have to say I have to agree with him for the most part, yes. It doesn't mean you have to get on the road like a like a retiree, no offense to the retirees, you know what I mean? The people who are just content to tool along the back roads, enjoying the scenery, there's a lot of value in that, and I don't deny it. But you can also ride a little bit more actively 
on the street. You don't have to go completely passive. So I am, I am uh, aware of the danger that I pose to myself and others. I'm trying to dial it back, getting it out of my system. Look at this big roundabout. Isn't this great? Yeah, baby. Changes. All right, it's Mike Kaylee 7. I'll talk to you later.